old and retired. He resides here in North Carolina as well. And I want to make sure everybody can hear me loud and clear. Can you please confirm? I can hear you good and clear. How you doing? Hey, Auntie. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I would like to introduce Mr. Petro, who was 23 years old and recently retired in 2018 due to this trading information. We just wanted to bless a couple of people and share this amazing information, strategies to help you understand the basics of trading. So we want to make sure everybody's getting what they need, and we just wanted to bless each other and just, you know, get together and sip some coffee while we learn together. Mr. Kirkland, can you hear me loud and clear? What's up? Okay, he can hear me loud and clear. Take it away. What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? We got 32 people on the call tonight. We about to give away this sauce like we never gave it away before. I hope you guys are ready. Hope you got your pen and paper. We about to go in tonight. I got some special guests that's going to be on here for you guys. Stay tuned. We're going to be ahead and get it rocking and rolling, guys. I hope you guys have all had a great, great week this week. I know mine has been wonderful, wonderful. You know, guys, we got NFP getting ready to come up tomorrow. Get ready to smash that, too. All right? So, guys, what I wanted to do, you know, first I want to thank all you guys for definitely hopping on the call tonight. I really, really appreciate it. You know, I just wanted to hand some sauce out to you guys. You know, we want to do it the right way. All right. So one of the plans I, I really, really wanted to start with, you know, is basically talking about, you know, just GBP, JPY. I get a lot of people that, you know, inbox me about, you know, what's going on with GBP, GPY? Like, you know, why is it doing this? Why is it doing that? Well, guys, I'm about to break it down for you. All right. So, guys, my, my trading strategy that I use is simple market structure. All right, just to give you a little background. Simple market structure. I don't use no indicators whatsoever. News, nine times out of ten, always goes in my favor. All right, and it's going to go in you guys' favor from here on out to the night if you're on this call. All right, so getting started, guys, talking about GJ. You know, one of the things you guys want to always do, but traders don't, don't realize, you know, whether you're a scalper, intraday swing trader, you guys always need to make sure that you start on the higher time frames, okay? Preferably, I like the daily, I like the weekly charts. Why do I say this, all right? This is basically simple. I say this because the, on the higher time frames, guys, this is basically where you're going to be able to get your overall bias of what the market's doing, your overall trend, what's getting ready to happen and what's going to happen next, all right? So... One of the main tools that, you know, I, I always start off with is when I go to my daily chart, all right, I always start off by simply going here on TradingView. You know, for any new traders out there, TradingView is what we use to mark up charts, okay? You just go in here, you know, type in whatever pair you want and, you know, just click on the chart. You know, but one of the main tools I use is basically the line chart. The reason I say the line chart, guys, is because the line chart, it gives me direct, accurate looks at the market. Right? Now, what I mean by that? All right? I want you guys to all pay attention to these little peaks here. I call them peaks. Every last one of these are peaks, guys. All right? It's where the market hesitated to go past. All right? Every last one of them are peaks, guys. And so what I like to do, you know, I like to just draw, you know, a nice trend line, just trying my best to connect every last one of those beats all right it may not equal perfect but you guys can see i'm basically basically connecting here connecting this point you know all the way up to there right now you guys are going to be able to see you know as i go through here you know i see somebody put peaks and valleys this is exactly what it is peaks and valleys peaks and valleys peaks and valleys higher you know higher highs higher lows it's all the same guys it's all the same i promise you so literally now, I want you guys' eyes to check this out. Watch how your eyes adjust to this, all right? Watch how your eyes just adjust to me by simply putting that line in there, okay? Bam. Look at that. Look how accurate that came up to be. That's pretty accurate, right? It looks like that line, it can't get any straighter than that. 
So you guys see we got, you know, a lower high, you know, and higher high, lower high, higher high. So you guys see basically this is everything over here on this side of the screen, okay, everything over here was considered to what I call a buy zone, all right? Now, what is a buy zone? All right, make it very easy, very simple. I'm a simple guy. I don't like to overcomplicate anything for you guys. I want to make trading seem easy as possible. All right, so everything over here, guys, is going to be what I consider to be a buy zone. And the reason why I say it's a buy zone, well, let's just take a look. All right, if you guys look here, what happened every time we hit this trend line? We bought. Okay, it here, here again. We bought. We bought. We bought. We bought. We bought all the way up here, right? So, you know, literally, if you guys would have took this trade, every time we hit the trend line, let's just see. You know, you could have literally, you know, held this trade for 45 days. You know, it gave you a nice little 2,000 pips there. You know, gave you a nice little 1,000 pips there. You know, 700 pips there. 1,000 pips there. All the way up, guys. So you got many, many different opportunities. And with trading, guys, you know, as, as a trader's mindset, we, we like to overcomplicate things. All right? Traders shouldn't be complicated. It's, it's really in the trader's mindset. You, you guys have to work on your psychology, you know, but it's, it's in your mind when you start overcomplicating things. But guys, my, my, my mission for everyone on this call is you need to take advantage of the best possible opportunities you see in the market. The best possible opportunities, right? The best possible opportunities that we got here Okay, the best possible opportunities that we got is off a trend line. Why would you not take this trade off a trend line? Does that make sense? Why would you not? Right? So you guys gonna notice I'm gonna talk about a lot of market structure tonight. A lot, a lot of market structure. Because if you guys learn market structure, that's it. That's all you need for trading. I promise you. Everything else, indicators, all that, it's gonna come secondary. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So everything over here was a buy zone. Okay, everything over here was a buy zone, right? Now, there's three important rules I want you guys to remember when trading. Okay, three important rules. The first is going to be an impulse. I can't spell, but it's okay. Impulse. <laughs> then, secondly, after we have our impulse, okay, we are always going to get some type of correction, all right, or some will call it. Pull back, okay? Some people call it retracement. It's all the same thing, right? After you get those moves, then you're going to have your confirmation, okay? Now, let me put this all in perspective for you guys. Impulse correction, pull back, retracement, okay? Let me put it all in perspective for you, right? So right here, guys, look what we had here. We had an impulse, okay? After we had our impulse, we had a correction, right? And then this was our confirmation. We would have entered the trade here to take it again. We're repeating the process over and over and over and over again. Impulse, correction, and then our confirmation would have been right here for us to take it long again. And as you guys notice, these are nice little A, B, C, D patterns. As we keep going up, the market is going to do what it previously did in the past. I promise you. <laughs> like, really, when I show you guys exactly what a triangle is and how market, how you can easily identify triangles in the market, you're going to easily be able to identify any, any trade you look at. Any trade. Literally. So... You got to buy some over here, okay? Now, once Christ now crossed this trend line, this was a daily trend line, guys. All right, this was a daily trend line. This was very, very strong. So once Christ crossed this trend line, okay, we now had a change in structure. Market completely changed directions on us. Because it all it did the same exact three rules, impulse. What do you guys think was going to happen next? Correction, right? 
came right off the trend line that we drew based off the line chart. This is why I love the line chart, guys. Came right off the trend line for that correction move when we're going down. <laughs> it doesn't get any easier than that. I say the same stuff over and over and over again, right? So now, guys, how can you take advantage of that? Knowing that alone will make you a very, 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 very successful trader. All right? Just knowing that alone is crazy. You have people DM you tomorrow and telling you to teach them how to trade just because you got the sauce. I'm telling you. All right? So literally, guys, now that you have a change in structure, okay, you can now start also drawing a different trend line, right? Check this out. All right? Like I said, I love my line chart. My line chart is perfect to me, right? My line chart. I'm just going to connect these points, and I'm going to draw this thing straight down, okay? Draw it straight down. Let you guys' eyes adjust to it. Bam! Looks perfect, doesn't it? Right on the money. And all I did was connect these little peaks. That's all I did. That's all I did was connect those peaks there. All right? So literally, somebody chat, somebody type in the chat box, based off of what I just told you about the buy zone, you now know over here it is now considered to be a sell zone. Why? Because we change in trend. We're going down we're motion now. Okay? This is now considered to be a sell zone. So somebody tell me, what would be the best possible spot that we could possibly get the best entry right now? What would, if we wanted to get in the market right now, what would be the best possible place to enter the market? Off what? Off the trend line. Exactly. Off the trend line. So if you know that, guys, this is where patience comes into play. Okay? Because a lot of you guys out there, you're not patient. <laughs> you're not patient. <laughs> right? It kills you to be patient. I understand. You want to make money right then and there. I get it. Guys, I get it. I was there. I blew up many, many accounts. Right? Because I was impatient. Right? It literally killed me every single time. But knowing this, guys, knowing what my best possible entry is at, off a trend line, all I'm waiting for is simple. For price to come back to the trend line, and guess what I'm going to do when it comes back to the trend line? I'm going to sell it right back now. Wow. Short, sweet, and simple. To the point. I'm going to sell it right back down, right? So we have two types of traders in here. We have aggressive traders, and we have conservative traders, all right? Now, my aggressive trader, okay, and this is completely up to you. You guys have to decide this for yourself, right? Are you willing to, you know, lose a little bit of pips, but you're making sure that this goes in your favor? Or are you willing to hop in it and risk more of your account? This is what you have to decide. I cannot decide that for you. Right? <laughs> I can't. But literally, guys, that's simple, right? So what happens next? Because we don't just do all of our analysis on the date. Heck no. Okay? We don't do all of our analysis on the date. The daily's just showing us which way the trend's going. Now we jump down to our lower time frames, okay? Bam. I like one hour, four hour charts, okay? One hour, four hour charts, they tell me exactly what's going on too, right? Check this out. Now, don't you guys pay attention to this, right? Do so you guys see, I'm going to mark this. I'm going to put a line right here. I'm going to put a line right here, and I'm going to put a line right here. Do you guys see how each and every single time it was like a stair there? 
it was like it was going up, right? So we now were making more, you know, higher highs, right? So it's the confirmation that we're going back to the trend line, right? Don't believe me? Line chart. <laughs> I love it. Look at the line chart, okay? Your line chart, guys, watch this. Connect these points here, okay? Doesn't have to be exactly perfect. You just want to connect these points, okay? Now watch this, guys. Watch this. Let your eyes adjust to it. Clean trend line, right? It's a pretty clean trend line, all right? So now, not only do you guys see that, but check this out. You guys see exactly where I drew this arrow? You see exactly where I drew that arrow? Well, guys, price tends to always to come back to a major support or resistance zone. Okay? I drew that arrow right there on the date. Okay? I want you guys to now look left for me. Completely look left. What do we have here? Wow, that looks like resistance. Every time price hit here, what did it do? It dropped. Right? Every time price hit right there, it dropped. What did it do here? Right? What did it do here? Every time price hit here, it dropped. It dropped. It shot up, but we knew it was going to the trend line, but it still dropped. It dropped. So, guys, <laughs> your only explanation is what for this pair? It's to obviously come back up here and drop. <laughs> is that easy? I'm <laughs> just being honest. <laughs> Literally, you don't believe me? Let's back test it even more, right? Keep this going. We can draw this all the way out. Look, support turned into resistance here. Shut up. Go here. We can do this all. I can, I can drag this line all out, but I'm not going to. But you guys see, just by that alone, by simple market structure, do you guys all see how you can now take advantage of the financial markets? I mean, type one in the chat box if, if you understand that part. <laughs> type one. Like, literally, it's that simple, guys. That simple. Now, let me show you something. Okay? Let me not only show you something here. So, like, I was talking about my aggressive trader, right? Of course, my aggressive trader, you know? You know, my aggressive trader is going to end the market where? They're going to end the market right here. Bam. They're in the market right there. But my conservative trader, you know what my conservative trader is going to do? They're going to follow the three rules. Correction and the confirmation. And let's just say this, guys. Let's say price decides it doesn't want to go that way, okay? Guys, you will never, ever see this happen. I promise you. You will never, ever see price just keep going up or keep going down, just on a straight line. It will always give you some type of pullback. Don't ever chase after a candle. Ever. That should be your number one note tonight. Don't ever chase after a counter because you know what's going to happen? You guys are going to, I'm going to call out a trade and I'm going to say, yo, GJ right now is getting ready to go on a sale, right? You go hopping in a sale, right? And you see it's, it's just bleeding out. Let's just say, for instance, let's say this. Let's give you guys a scenario. Let's say price didn't decide to go back up there and it's just bleeding. Like, it's just going. Like, <laughs> and everybody's like, oh my God, GJ's going. GJ's going out the house. Like, it's gone, right? You go chasing after this candle, right? This It gets all the way down here. You feel like you're losing money. And all you had to really do was look left. And you would have saw this is a major area of support. Well, guys, if you 
look at the three rules of what I just said, you're going to get a what? Impulse. Then you're going to get a correction. And then guess what? You enter the trade there. And then you sell it down. That's your move. That's your move. Stop worrying about if something's running down the street and you want to go chase after it. The pretty girl that's, that's driving down the street, she ain't always that pretty. <laughs> she ain't always that pretty. So don't go chasing after her when you know there's a better opportunity out there for you. <laughs> don't go chasing after her if you know there's better opportunities out there. I just gave you guys three rules what the market does each and every single time. And you know, you know what's funny about it, guys? This is what's funny, right? I teach this a lot. I told you guys, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay some sauce on you tonight, right? Support, guys. I'm sorry. When something gets through resistance, you're gonna always see almost the same patterns, and you're gonna see things such as M's pop up. Well, let's just look and let's back test. I like back testing, guys. Look at this M. That was formed here at an area of support. I'm sorry, area of resistance. Look at this M that was formed here, area of resistance. And all it's doing, guys, is following three rules. Let's just keep going back. Look at this M, right? I bet you guys, some of you guys have never even know the market puts letters out for you to be successful. And you don't even know it. Look at this M. I can do this all day long. So you want to know what's what what what's can anybody guess what the letter is when it's at when it's at support? Can anybody guess what that letter is? <laughs> it's a W. Flip it upside down. What do you mean? Let's show you guys, right? Let's show you the W. Okay, here's your W, it's bigger than normal, but look at your W. Some of you guys also call this W, some of you guys call it double bottoms, double tops, some of you guys call it that. It's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. Now, for my people out there, you know, that's, that's their vision is, you know, they want to use the cloud and everything like that. You know, the cloud indicators are great, guys. Learn market structure. I guarantee you, I put five bucks. I have not even marked this startup, but I guarantee you guys, I guarantee you, Right now, we're probably inside the cloud waiting for a breakout to go to the move to the downside. I guarantee it. Let's just put, let's just put the cloud on there for a second. I, you know, I'm curious. Look at that. Wait for your breakout. You got your TK crossing. Look, guys, isn't that a good trade? I'm below the cloud, right? Let's go over here, right? When I was here, I would have waited for price to get above the cloud. And I would have took my trade after I had my TK crossing. Right? I'm talking about this place and soft you guys tonight, right? <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people I, I've kind of noticed too, it's not, not against anybody. A lot of people take my strategies and they use them, right? And then they get all the credit for it. I don't care. You know? But this is another strategy of mine, right? For those of you that don't know, right? Check this out. Find editor, right? Anybody that wants to know about this strategy, come DM me. I can easily tell you. It's called VDub, right? Let's add VDub to the system, okay? VDub is telling me there was a major sell opportunity that happened here. Now I'm looking for another major buy opportunity. And the way you 
the way you see V dub is anytime you see a major cell signal, there's always going to be a major buy signal right after that. Or a major buy signal, there's always going to be a major sell signal. What are you guys looking for right here as it's on this trend line? And you know it's getting ready to go back up. Hello, buy signal. You get your buy signal, boom. You ride until you get your sell signal. Get out the trade. And chances are you get your sell signal when you hit this trend line. Sells on Zalls. On Zalls. I can do this all day, guys. I do strategy after strategy after strategy. But the best strategy I've ever found is, is marking charts up without no indicators. This stuff, indicators, they're confirmations. That's what they are. They're confirmations. Guys, put it to, let me, let me put it in, in, yes, exactly, they're lagging. Let me put it to you this way. If your indicators was all that, I'm going to tell you exactly what my mentor told me, right? I give him credit because he taught me a lot. He's got me where I am today. But if your indicators is all that, why are they free? If they're the best indicators out there in the world, why are they free? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. They're confirmations, guys. Use them as confirmations. All right? So, literally, that's what you're looking for on GJ. Right? Mark this on your chart. Because I guarantee you, there's only, a, there's only a couple of options that can happen here, right? Either price is going to go here, and I'm going to just, you know, I'll give you all the possible scenarios, right? Which I don't see the third happening. But you got price going there. Price either bleeds out here, it retests, and it keeps going down here. Or your third option, which I highly likely see happening, is this. It breaks this trend line, changes structure, Change the structure, and then we head to the upside. That's what patience comes into play. Let price tell you what it's going to do. Price will tell you guys what it's going to do. If you're going to break out, wait for the retest. Simple. I don't do this for my health, guys. I don't do this for health. And really, be honest with you. If it get a breakout, guess where it's going? Guess what? It, if it get a breakout, I'm just being real. Uh, hello, it's probably gonna come back down to this trend line, retest off the trend line, right? Look at the look. Cause look in history. History says every time it hit the trend line, it went up. So it'll probably get off the trend line and keep going. It will probably get off the trend line and keep going. Guys, this is from your IML TV. <laughs> this is simple stuff. This is simple sauce. You think I'm going to charge you for this information? No. Why? What's the point? I want to see everybody succeed in this business. No point in me sitting here charging you five. We had people inbox me asking me to charge them. Asking me, can I charge them $1,000 to pick my brain? No. I don't want your money. I make plenty of money from the foreign exchange market alone. Doing simple strategies like this. Simple. So I want to make sure before I, before we move on to different pair, because we, we ain't just going to look at GJ, right? We ain't just going to look at GJ. <laughs> I want to make sure everybody understands this. And if you do not understand this, don't hesitate to speak up. Do not hesitate to speak up. We are, we are here for you guys to be successful. Ask questions. I love it when you ask questions. It tells me you're listening. Jim, I have a question. All right, let's hear it. Okay. Do you uh, enter the trade off for the quarters in a... Uh, uh, so people go off the price action. So do you uh, enter the trade based off the quarters? Like you have your large quarter points, um, your major, your high, and your minors. 
You know, be completely honest with you. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, be honest. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Sorry. We <laughs> 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 might have a different way. I'm like, what? <laughs> this is marketing. This is prices. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Quarters. <laughs> I, 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 I ain't never heard of quarters. Sorry. <laughs> Overall, quick points. Hey, let, let me answer that. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me, Jeff? Yeah, we can hear you. All right, let's, let's get in this. I'm Eric. I'm Eric. I, I do a little trade. I'm okay. But uh, basically what, what, what we try to do over here on our team is, and there's nothing wrong with different strategies, but that, that question there is like when you come in, we, we start overthinking, and we keep, we keep trying to find the civil bullet. And there's no silver bullet in trading. Basically what, and I'm going to just be real with you, what Jeff showed you guys is not really a strategy. He just showed you what price does all day, every day. Price action. That's it. That's all, we do. That's all we do over here. We trade over here at the 1%. And, and <laughs> that's what we do. We trade. So right. but what happens is we meet a lot of people and all this, and there's nothing wrong with what you guys saying. We put points and quarters and highs and lows and all kinds of stuff and it's like i'm confused i'm like what are you guys talking about because we make money all day but what you guys are looking at we make money all day we can't make up what i just showed you you don't i don't use indicators i don't believe in indicators because this is a six trillion dollar industry and we're using free indicators i don't understand that so there's nothing wrong but it's like I said, people lie, numbers don't lie. So whatever strategy you guys use is at the end of the month, add it up. How many pips did you get? What's your win ratio? What's, what's all that? Then you know if it works. But do not overcomplicate it, guys. We got, you know, we got people, some people send me charts. They got seven indicators. I can't even see the candles. Bobby, right? <laughs> You know what I'm well, saying? You guys really want to know what quarter uh, the quarter parts of the market is pretty much pivot points. He pretty much showed you pivot points already. Pivot points is, yeah. I mean, quarter points are basically pivot points that shown on the H4. So you normally look for you normally look for higher lows, for higher highs, depending on if your trade is a high demand zone. And this is basically as clear as it gets right here. You don't really need to know mm -hmm. the quarter points, but the quarter points are just mm -hmm. pivot areas. We normally have like um, morning uh, star patterns or evening star patterns, double bottoms, double top ends, all the stuff we just went over. You say you don't know basically, you're going to reveal uh, quarter points to you in a naked. So it's basically the same thing. Like I said, don't copy. How is yeah. your adventure? And, 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 that's a, and, that's a good, and like I said, there's nothing wrong with knowing. <laughs> Did you walk here? They don't try to assume everything. Oh. Right. It's just like, I, I mean, I you know, six months, they don't understand that a retracement and a correction is the same thing. Right? So you okay? Assume we we're trying to figure out everything. Correction, retracement, yes, all at the same time. You know, we, you know, there's nothing wrong with knowing pivot points and all that. There's nothing wrong with learning um, um, the indicators. Uh, just use indicators to help you confirm. Don't use indicators to help you make a decision out of the game. But I appreciate that, explaining that. But I, I learned pivot points and all that stuff at the beginning. I got away from that. I guess you can call myself a naked trader. I just go face to face with what the market gives me. What the market gives me, that's what we do. So that's it. Any other? Um, I, think, I think that um, I think that the way she's asking how to trade that will also complement its style of trading, um, along with the impulse. And of course, you want to look for question down in to see. I think that not necessarily assume that an indicator would help, but a tool, simple tools such as trend lines and uh, a Fibonacci uh, retracement tool would actually help with oh, this type of style of trading. Because what you're really looking for is a correction. Into, into a continuation into D1 and D2, which gives you two take profits, the exit, once you enter onto C. Um, so once you find an impulse move, just like you drew from that, that bottom point, that middle touch, that's down there in the middle, actually you go back one, 
Well, that's actually called an inverted head and shoulders pattern, and that pattern popped up on this, um, the support area on that trend line to push price up in the bullish man, of course. It's going to run into that counter trend line that's going to build up pressure. That's going to build up pressure enough for either a bullish or, um, or a business breakout in recess and then a continuation. So, whenever you do an A and B uh, impulse, you always look for C. It normally turns around at the 38.2, the 50, or the 61.8 retracement. The 79% on the Fibonacci level after drawing an A and B impulse move after price breaks and because that, it's normally a reversal because. That's the last hidden level of support and resistance. So that would actually complement this style of trading after you break out. I would, I would say that. And I'm, 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 I'm glad he just came on there. And guys, as, as you see, I'm, I'm not the best trader out there in the world. Heck no. I don't even claim to be. See why I ain't going to do more than me. You know? But as he just came on here, you know, he said he just told you guys about Fibonacci. Right? We haven't got talking about Fibonacci yet. Right? But, you know, I'm gonna let him go, you know? So, you know what I mean? I want you to go ahead and explain Fibonacci to you. You have to follow my screen, you know, because this is not just about me. Right, right. So, so hey, you have to follow my screen. This is under a different name. We actually talked before. Mm -hmm, I remember. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, okay, so basically, let's see. Just quick, just quick. There you go. Okay, I see. I see what's going on. All right, so who's controlling the screen right now, so we know who's. Um, this, is, this is never guilty. Um, that's controlling the screen right now. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, so basically, what I'm looking at is, let's just say that this was an input move. This is A. Okay, and then this is B. So this would be considered an impulse, a bullish impulse. Of course, this is what's called the correction order retracement. So you're looking at an area where price can turn around somewhere at a level to continue to go this way to break this old high. So where price currently is right now, as far as pivots, this is your current high and this is your current low. So of course, if you have a, if you if you're still moving up, you want to get higher lows, which is each. It would just each L student. And if you're coming down this way, you want to get lower highs because the highs are becoming lower. So once price builds up in this area, don't necessarily say it has to break out right in this area. But once you get the breakout, you don't necessarily have to use this for breakout. So for instance, um, let's say if I was to go grab a tool, a Fibonacci tool, I would start from I would go grab my Fibonacci tool from here, retracement. And then what I would do is start from impulse A and drag it to B, just like this. And I would drag it across. So at these levels, if you know about Fibonacci or golden ratio, 1.618, 0 0.8, one of those numbers is actually um, a golden ratio number where price likes to take a pick. Um, can't really see. Uh, I don't know if you can delete that. If you can delete that fit from that second. Thank one. you. And I just got to eat some pancakes. Then you have to eat. Okay. So as I type in the chat, if you scroll back, you see where I say um, there's levels um, that's D1 and D2. And if I'm going in. Can y'all hear me? If there's A <laughs> and then B. Once you're starting to get the retracement or the correction, you look for these levels normally for price to turn around. Now, the 78.6 is actually a really good level, and it's actually good that he has this above it because um, with price can uh, you at Walmart? break over its level, but it doesn't necessarily you mean, have to go below this level. If price decides to be below this level, on 79.6. Be exact. That's the last different level that's on a fib okay. retracement as far as your impulse. So basically saying if it's 79% was here on the fib, if your impulse is from A to B, the, uh, if your yeah. is has um a big time uh, and going out um, and getting that this, together. This um area, which is 79%. 79% with a um, confirmed close of a bearish candle below the line, you should not be no longer interested on making a continuation to find D because that means most likely price is going to reverse on the 61.8 and 
and then it's going to continue, which is normally the 128%, which is the opposite side that's actually after the 100. That's going to be your first target if you decide to enter. Now, if you want to look for targets that's um, on here, let's just say, let me delete this. So let's just say if I want to, let's just say if this was to happen, let's just say we was to have a breakout from these impulse into this level, down into this level, like you said, and then this. So anything breaking this high, this was your last high. If anything, if price action really does, you might get a retest back into here, then the continuation back up. Not, you don't really know. Like I said, you got to let the market feed the first time. Really mm, yeah. How was the beach? Um, let's just say I wanted to take this, and I wanted to actually, let me take this mm. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start from this. So you can see it going down. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pretend that this broke out. Hey, so I'm going to start and you always drag it in the direction oh, of the wow. impulse. It's too much? The opposite way because the field will come out wrong. Yeah. Unless you know um, the yeah, negative yeah. correlation yeah. number, yeah. which mirrors. Uh, wow, what are you going to do with that? For instance, if you're looking to exit on the 61.8, if you take 61.8 mm. from 100, you know that the opposite of it is 38.2, vice versa. If you take 38.2 from 100, you get 61.8. There's actually um, extra levels that you can add on to the fit that um, normally when price pivots, and like but to say if I was to do an impulse move, if I was to get a higher low, uh, normally the higher low or the lower high that confirms the reversal normally hits on the 11.4, or the 88.6, depending on the way uh, a price is going. And same thing, uh, 88.6 minus 111.4 in price the same thing. So, I was about to say, honey, my eyes lit up. That, um, you wanted to take this from this uh, import mm -hmm. here, and you wanted to drag it up to here. Say we was looking for some type of retail. You wanted to drag it to this area here, okay? So then, technically, this area, which I normally call them, I call them my Doritos. Um, this, this is an area where trend lines they intersect. Hmm. This area, you look like you was done. I'm like, damn, right? Yeah, do a lot of walking. Of course, hmm. on the on the line, line charts, also Damn, that's why I want to do that. So sometimes when you have a wick here, you have wicks here like this. And you have candles here that close above this trend line on a line chart. The wicks won't show. The line line chart will just show the closure of price and basically put it. So let's just say price decided to close here, and you saw a wick here. The way that's going to look on a line chart is going to look like this. And then, of course, when you turn your candle star, uh, your your candle. Do you on, um? These are going to play oh, no, some prior demand areas. And well, this is basically what moves um this is what moves price. Forex is nothing but to find out what currency is stronger than the other currency. If the base, if the base currency is stronger than the quote currency, which means the quote currency is only on the right side of the pair. If the base currency is stronger than the Oh, they won't have that. They was like, well, take it out. So you, you had it like this. Wait, where you, where you thought you was back here, Wingo? Um, hey, what's going on, community? Can y'all hear me or only hear him? Which means this is your last receipt. C, 50, C, 50, C. Now, you're going to get different pullback levels depending on the info. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So this is the way now. Oh, wait. Can you hear me? I thought I heard me. Negative. 27. That's I just streamlined this live training on here. It's the first stop leaving the ceiling tracing. Right. But you always have to watch the 11.4 because the 11.4 after T sometimes we hit the 11.4 and 11.4 actually falls in between the 23.6 and the zero. The zero is the original B. So if the C 
in truth, if you're going bullish, does not break B and it stops at the other point four, you may get wicks in that selling pressure or rejection to the upside that could leave us with a lower high. It's this point of 11.4 is lower than this B retracement. The simple fact that you've broken this level, it's most likely, not all the time, but Majority of, I say more than ninety percent of the time, you get a pullback from D one, which is negative twenty seven on the fifth, back down into two, and then you get a continuation into D two, which is normally to take profit if you decide to swing. And um, and um, basically, D two is equivalent to the negative six. So I'm not gonna go. Tomorrow's gonna be my last day at the gym. It's always gonna be your continuation. Now, once well, it ain't gonna be a month. You know what I mean? And if you think about it, it only goes three to four times. So it would be like paying the money and we're going to leave on the 22nd. Now you're looking for a one of those levels. Remember, you get the 38, you get the 50, you get the 61 point. You get the 50, you get the 38, 50, you get 61 point. So basically, the 78.6 is the last result. If price breaks that, it most likely will retest the 61.8 and then continue down to the 120. If it does pivot at one of these levels, then the negative 27 is your first exit. The negative 61.8 is your second exit. So it should look something like this. Sometimes the 27 days it comes back out to the zero and it continues. Now, if you're a swing trader, what used to be if you want an overall, if you want an overall profit, you can stay at A. But what you do should be, so what this does is it gives more, put it more in between the retracement levels. It gives you a longer time of retracement, but of course, but it gives you more bullish continuation, which means more pips. We don't trade for profit, we trade for pips. Always keep that in mind. Sauce. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what it is, guys. That's what it's all about. It's, it's straight sauce. You don't get sauce, and sauce, and sauce, and sauce, and sauce, and sauce, and sauce. All right? So, literally, my, you know, getting back to getting back to the pair, you know, we're going to hop on a different pair. You know, I'm going to hop on one different pair here for you. And then, you know, I'm going to give you guys something special. I'm going to give you my, my special guest that, you know, He's he, he coming straight out from Charlotte, North Carolina. This man's been grinding in the day since day one. Like, literally. Like, he's just fresh, fresh out of college. I, I'm, I'm excited to have him on the team. So, you know, somebody just type in the chat box. What, I, I want to know what what's pair. I want to know what pair somebody was looking at this week. We're going we're gonna to get ready to break it down right now. What pair? Give me somebody type in what pair in the chat box. Thank you. First one that came up. Let's go. All right, A U D J P Y. Let's go. All right, so let's check A U D J P Y out. All right, so getting back, getting back to it, guys. Like I said, you guys are starting on the higher time frame, your daily, your weekly, whichever you guys can see better. It doesn't matter, all right? Your daily, your weekly. So let's take a look at A J. Okay, so AJ, once again, I like to start off my lines up. This is no It's relevant, but it's irrelevant. Pay attention to what's currently going on in the price right now. All right, so literally, guys, this pair is very, very simple. All right, I'll show you out. You guys see this right here. Most of you guys have never even guessed. Most of you guys have Watch this. Uh -huh. You see this part right here? The manager was like, well, you guys, don't have watch to get this. It because it's not who else is going to have to pay for What is this called? Who, who said that? You said that you're conscious? The manager. Okay. What is this called? Because I'm like, this isn't the one I want. I'm literally showing them the color I want. Uh huh. And she was like, oh, well. You got it. And you know, what do you, what do you okay. Like, it just got done hitting. Like, oh, <laughs> it just literally I'm got done hitting. I would have walked out. <laughs> you ain't signed no contract, like you told me. What was the policy at? 
because that's they really just got you because it ain't your fault that uh he I'm couldn't run for Eric. That's stupid. Mm-hmm. Tell you. This is A U D J P Y. It's going right oh, back man, down. I would have walked to politely support. out. How do you enter the straight? Okay. Lower time frame. Once again, we now know our support. And then this guy, system. he's been watching we my YouTube channel. The direction of this market. He's in Jamaica. Is trending down. And he will. He hit me up. Right? Real official. He was now like, he does. Um. Right. Let me do this. I'm line. already six. Festival and YouTube channels. Right. I do free I mean, dance video editing, start. graphic right. design work in my own again, Amazon store. But I would like to increase the income. So he has like his Connect whole business in YouTube. What are you waiting for? Followers and stuff. He's Somebody right here in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. What are you waiting for for this trade? It's simple, right here in front of your face. Mm-hmm. All you gotta do is be patient. One little key. All you gotta do is be patient, and that's it. Wait for it to come to the trend line. Mm. And guess what? Mm-hmm. Like that piece of mm. fish. The sky's falling out. Did you know it's going down to where? Support. You know it's going down to support. <laughs> it's literally that simple. Guys, don't Yo, yes, this is it's the same. Simple. How do I know that? Look left. Why did I say that area? Look left. What is this? Used to listen to this lady. Resistance. Always. I loved her. Love. She you always had a nice radio voice. And it's funny because. I'm going to get more technical with it. Draw your nice little trim line here. Right? You got a really nice voice. Draw your trim line. You should got a flag formation. Some people call it flag. Flagging it up. Right? Resistance. Resistance. You can drop out. Guys. What happens if it just falls out right now? Who cares? It It falls out. Guess what you're going to do? Three rules. Impulse. Correction. And then you got your continuation. Confirmation. We're going down. You got to see how simple that is. All right. I'm going to get off. Got my reasons. Oh. um... It took me so long to fully understand that concept. Why would you guys take a look at this whole picture? I want to tell you right. what, uh, what's his name, my friend? Um, um, mm-hmm. Take a look at, this is how I can tell you guys, Price does the second. Take a look at all this, okay? All that. Literally, guys, you guys can see it. Take a look at all this. Literally, guys, if you took a halfway line right down the middle of this, do you guys see, you know, I'm just scratching my head while I'm doing this. But do you guys see how the left side looks exactly like by the right side is starting to look like the left side? Wait a minute, I'm confused. Is that not a glitch? You had your little Mexico right? image. If you don't see it there, let's back up here. Right? Maybe that's this when you go out in the streets, you just. The future, it happens in the past, happens you in the future. Prepare yourself. Put a halfway line there. Look. It happens in the left side, it happens on the right side. Same here. Put a halfway line, left side, right side. Left side, right side. Guys, I can, I can go back all day long and do this. And for you guys just really curious about how many dips this was, right? And this is why I tell you to use this for any strategy that you use, right? If you were curious to really know how many pips it was from here, all the way down here, okay? The resistance, 263 pips. Guys, if you wanted to 10 pip it and dip it, no problem. That's fine. Right? But you better make sure you're going with the trend and 10 pipping it, dipping it here. Great. Get out. 10 pip dipping it here. Great. Get out. 10 pip dipping it here. Great. Get out. You better make so sure you're only putting in sale 10 pip and dip. Because that's going with the trend. That makes sense. Give you guys all the sauce right there. That's it, guys. Even if you didn't want to use Fibonacci, even if you didn't want to use nothing else but lines, lines and support and resistance. So if that's all you wanted to do, yeah. that's it. Hey, but you did ask her about the rent, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> somebody, somebody said, I don't know what that means. You know? 
what what part what part don't you don't tip the tip bit dipping the triple tip bit dip tripping hold on at me don't worry about it if you don't know it don't do it <laughs> don't overcomplicate it don't feel you hey, this is the thing key guys check this out I'm gonna say this too right stick with one strategy okay stick with one strategy and master it. I don't care what strategy you do. Whether you take this and run with it, great. That's fine. But stick with one strategy, one that fits your personality. Because if it doesn't fit your personality, guys, you're not going to like it anyway. That's just like if you went right now to go find a job, right? You were going to find a job that you like with your personality, or else you wouldn't do the job. Forex is the same exact way. You hear it all the time. People always say, treat it as your business. You have to treat this as your business. Treat this as yours. Let the market come to you. Don't go after the market. Because I promise you, it will humble you in the end. It will humble you. Facts. So, I want to know if anybody else got any questions or how how I bought the charts. Anything. I want to know. Anybody got any other questions? I want to make sure that this is easy, peasy, understanding. Everybody in understanding they can take this and use it come Monday. That's my goal. For every last 50 people on this call, to become six-figure earners by 2018. That's my goal. A good book to recommend on fear retracements. I'm new on Forex. It still seems confusing. I understand. 